Hey guys, welcome to Five Star Guns and Gear, and uh, back with a, another product review. And this is just for a brass catcher for your AR style uh, rifles. And uh, full disclosure, this was sent to me by CB Life, and I told them I'd give an honest review. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, run it through. Run about uh, ten. I think I got ten rounds in here. We'll throw ten rounds through here. See how how it functions and it's pretty easy to install. It has a Velcro strap that straps around your handguard. This has a metal frame that goes around your ejection port area. It does come with an, a nice bag and it has a zipper that way you can empty it out easily. So I do like that, it's pretty cool. They sent it to me in green. Uh, I would have liked to have black for this, but it's okay, hey, it is what it is. Uh, they uh, asked if they could send it to me. I said, sure. It'll be convenient at the range because I always pick up my brass and uh, reload, and especially 223, pick it up, and a lot of times I'll shoot it for a little while and then I convert it to 300 blackout. So it makes it convenient rather than having to bend over and pick up all, the, all your brass and everything. So we're gonna, with that said, it should make it convenient. We're gonna see how convenient this really is. So let me get my ears on. Let's put uh, 10 rounds through here. This, I think I'm just going to set up and just uh, play get some uh, still targets downrange and uh, see how this actually performs. This right here is my 300 blackout SBR. Uh, you might have seen my video on this that uh, I just built this uh, at the end of last year and it was a pistol and we did go through the NFA process. Uh, do have a video on that as well so y'all can check that out if you are interested. Uh, but let's go ahead, load it up. Let's see how this video is actually about this brass catcher. Let's see how well it performs. I haven't ever used a brass catcher. I've always picked up my brass. But as much as I pick up, this actually may uh, be very convenient. And if it's something that I think is worthwhile, I'll let you know. If it has issues, you're going to see firsthand and you'll know if it has issues. And I'll let you know. So let's go ahead. Throw one magazine in it. Sorry guys, the uh, wind is blowing today a little bit, so if it gets a little, a little noisy around here, sorry about that. All right. One thing I do like is it, it does have a gap and you can see in here and uh, see what's going on with your bolts. So that's nice. So let's see how it performs. First round. Let's see if I can hit something at a hundred yards. Impact. Now that fell in my hand, let's give it a chance. And this may need adjusted because it seems like it's sticking real far out. Let me just stop right there. Let me clear this weapon. Uh, let me fold this in some because if you see it's gapped out, it could have got bent during shipping or something. It's just a wire frame. So uh, let's, let's just check and see, see if that's the problem. Did eject that round into it. As you can see, that's how it's going to come. It actually kind of has a uh, top area that kind of directs your uh, spent rounds into this. So let me see if I can flex this just a little bit. Um, I actually think that that is the problem. That's looking a lot better. So let me get this back on there and see if that uh, mitigated that issue. If it didn't, we'll know pretty darn quick. It goes on pretty easy. It's really built really good. It's got metal uh, buckles, so that's nice. It's not plastic. It 
And if you don't have a big old fat scoop like this, I had to put this on there just to get this to the range. And uh, I had to test this uh, boss defense. We're going to be doing a uh, video on this upper. Uh, this lower is a, a PSA lower. All right. Well, we know we're hitting at 100. Let's do it again. It is doing what it's supposed to do. I do have a live round in here, so let me get that out of here. One that I cleared. So it is working properly. Now, like I said, uh, this was bent out a little bit, so when you get it, if you do buy one of these, you may have to kind of bend it inwards. It's just a wire frame that's easy to actually uh, go ahead and uh, make that contour into your gun it's seems like it's catching them all just fine doing exactly what it's supposed to do get back get back get back all right that's 10 rounds through there it caught every one of them. Once we uh, fix this, like it was supposed to be fixed, worked flawless. But I do like that. Just unzip that bottle and they'll come right out. So easy to take on and off so you can swap them between uh, gun to gun. So this be handy at the range. I, I do think it's a worthwhile product. I think it's gonna save my back a lot of uh, grief. So that's handy. Uh, I do like that. So uh, let me know in the comments below, below if you have one. Uh, these are nothing new. These have been on the market for a long time by many, many companies. Uh, but CB Life's, it actually looks built very, very well. All the material is uh, pretty thick. It's, it's not thin. It looks like it's going to be durable and last. The zipper seems like it's built really well on it. Uh, the Velcro is really good. The metal buckles. I think it's well thought out. I think they did a good job on it. And... Uh, there's no reason to go back to the office and do a full-blown review over this. I can just tell you, I think it's practical, I think it's functional, I think it's useful. I would give it a five out of five stars. It's built really well, it's easy to use, anybody can use it, and it's gonna save your back. If you if you pick up a lot of brass at the range and shoot an AR style rifle, I'd say, hey, as cheap as these are, because they are very inexpensive, wouldn't be bad to get one, your back will appreciate it. Would you be able to use that at a range where they don't allow you to pick up your brass? That's actually a good point. If you are at a range that, uh, there is some ranges around here. This is a private range, so I can pretty much kind of do what I want. Uh, however, there are ranges that once your brass hits the ground, their rules are you're not allowed to touch that brass. They do not care if it's your brass or not. Uh, some ranges have some really strict and weird rules. The range marshal will tell you, hey, do not pick up any brass. And if you say, hey, what if I pick up my own brass? They'll say, if you, if you can catch it, you can keep it. If it hits the ground, it's ours. And a lot of that has to do is they resell brass and stuff. Uh, and it's an extra way for them to make money. So if you're in a situation like that, by all means, I would get one of these. Bolt guns are easy enough. You cycle it, you just hold the round, you stick it back in the box, you're good to go. Uh, usually they're not going to be hitting the ground if you're careful enough. Uh, some with the AR is going flying or any semi-auto you may have an issue with it I'm not sure uh, what all they make these for I know they make them for the AR I'll leave some links below that way you can find them and everything like I say I think it's a pretty good product I think it's uh, really easy to use I don't think you can go wrong and I think it could be beneficial to you at least for me it's going to be beneficial to me out here even though I can pick up my brass here just to save my back Guys, if you're subscribed, thank you very much. If you're not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that thumbs up. 
If you want to hit that thumbs down, do me a favor, hit it twice. And as always, I'll catch you on the next episode.